हेलो एवरी वन इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फेडिंग इफेक्ट इन अवर वायरलेस कम्युनिकेशन नाउ सम बेसिक टर्म्स इन अवर वायरलेस कम्युनिकेशन आर प्रपोगेशन मोड ऑफ प्रपोगेशन मल्टीपाथ प्रपोगेशन फेडिंग एंड शाडोइंग नाउ इन लास्ट फ्यू लेक्चर्स ऑलरेडी वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट प्रपोगेशन मोड ऑफ प्रपोगेशन मल्टीपाथ प्रपोगेशन and now in today's class we are going to discuss fading effect in our wireless communication now what is fading effect now in our wireless communication we are going to transmit our information signal from transmitter to receiver with help of radio waves now as the distance between transmitter to receiver increases information signal power becomes weak as distance increases so this respective effect of information signal loss or information signal power loss is called as the fading effect so fading in general referred to as a gradual loss of certain quality or parameter and merely disappears over the period of time now in fading there are number of variable parameters are there which will affect the quality of information signal one parameter is distance as distance between transmitter and receiver increases information signal becomes weak also some another parameters are also present that is fading is variation of attenuation of signal with various variables these variables are time geographical position of the transmitter and receiver and radio frequency of our information signal in wireless systems fading may either be due to multipath propagation or due to weather condition in weather condi condition specially when rain is present at that time it will highly affect our information signal because rain always affect radio waves so there is effect of information loss when there is rain is present now these are the types of fading or this is the classification of the fading now fading is broadly divided into two types small scale fading and the large scale fading now these two types are basically depends on distance between transmitter and receiver when the distance between transmitter and receiver is very less than it is called as small scale fading when the distance between transmitter and the receiver is very high then the respective fading effect in that transmission is called as large scale fading in large scale fading there is again it is divided into two parts that is path loss and the shadowing effect in small scale fading it is divided into two parts that is multipath delay spread and the doppler spread now also depending on these two types of the fading that is small scale fading and the large scale fading propagation models are also designed so propagation models in our wireless communication are depends on type of fading effect when user moves over a small distance the instantaneous received signal strength fluctuates rapidly giving rise to small scale fading and when the user moves over a large distance the average received signal strength gradually decreases this phenomena is referred to large scale fading now one another effect is present due to fading it is called as the rail length fading or it is also called as the multipath fading 
as shown in above figure the received signal is coming from different paths due to series of reflection on many obstacles the difference in path leads to difference in path of received component now see here in the respective figure one transmitter is there one receiver is there transmitting antenna is present and receiver is present in car now from transmitter receiver will receive one direct signal receiver will receive reflected signals from the buildings that is they are called as the obstacles from the obstacles our rf signal will reflect and receiver will receive this reflected signal also receiver will receive direct wave signal also and at the receiver side due to this multipath reception of the signal there are random fluctuations at the receiver side and this effect is called as multipath fading effect also it is called as the ray length fading effect so this is regarding to our fading in our wireless communication so we can conclude it as fading is defined as fluctuation in received signal strain at receiver or random variation in the received signal mm -hmm.